Welcome back. Well, it's time to see the lucky viewers who had their biggest catches of the week. Let's check in with Uncle Davis once again on this morning's Fishing Funktacular. It sure is a blast showing your pictures here on my Fishing Funtacular. Let's take a look at today's photos. Check out JC and Maylee Ray Rich. We showed their brother a couple of weeks ago with a fish. Well, we decided to show sisters today. They're at Pin Oak Lake over at Lexington, Tennessee. JC's got a nice large mouth, and Maylee Ray got her first fish ever, a bluegill showing Papa there, and uh, they all had a great time. Carter Biggs, his first fish ever. He was fishing over in Cheatham County with his pawpaw. Got a nice, looks like a largemouth bass there. Good job there. And Kale Feltner, his first fish ever, a catfish in Gallatin at a pay pond there. Looks like he was enjoying a beautiful sunny day as well. And Mary Lee Lewis, a nice bluegill fishing from the bank right there in Tullahoma, one of the farm ponds there. Looks like a good looking fish there. And Logan, his largemouth bass came right out of a pond in Pulaski, Tennessee. Good and proud of that fish there, Logan. And Kenzie Carr, was with Lexi Shellnut, and they were on the dock in Tim's Ford Lake. Both of them, it was their first fish ever. Nice bluegills they caught there and big smiles on their faces. Evan Kirk, a nice large mouth he caught on the Stones River in Murfreesboro. The Stones, of course, leads into Percy Priest Lake, the headwaters there. He got himself a nice large mouth out of it. And this is Kipton, a nice catfish. He was at Papa Jim's Lake in Santa Fe in Murray County. By the way, it is pronounced Santa Fe down in Murray County, for those who are wondering about that. And Elvis Guerrera, he was out night fishing, jug fishing, as a matter of fact. That's where you tie your bait to a jug or a styrofoam block. Wait for it to start bobbing up and down. He's got two flatheads and three channel cats there on Percy Priest Lake. Now we're going to talk about some walleye. You can get them on Center Hill Lake, Dale Hollow Lake, way upstream on the Cumberland as well. And Jana Mankins got a nice four-pound walleye. It was her 50th birthday. Happy belated birthday, Jana. And good job there. And speaking of walleye, Keegan Elkins, his first walleye, he was also in Center Hill Lake. It was 20 inches long. And by the way, those fish are really good eating. Wesley Parks, his personal best, he said, at the Binkley Farm Pond in Belvedere, Tennessee. And you know what his friends said? They say, you see that smile on his face? He's still smiling. I can see why, Wesley. And Memphis Benz, he wasn't in Memphis. He was down in Destin, Florida on one of the charter boats. More red snapper. Oh, I just love those fish. And... Boy, he's got a whole bunch of them on the board there of all the folks that caught the red snapper out there on the charter boat in Destin. Young Lucas Spann with, with his dad, Chris, in Charleston, South Carolina. Lucas actually went with his baseball team for a tournament, but he and dad got some fishing in. Check out the 41-inch bonnet head shark he caught off Charleston, South Carolina. Don't forget, send your pictures to Pix, P I X, at WKaren.com. Put the word fish in the subject box. And remember, the late, great Jimmy Holt wanted you to be safe. And at the end of his broadcast, he always said, Don't forget to wear your life jacket. Happy fishing. I'm Davis Nolan.